Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your Farming Simulator 15 Mod Spotlight where the bale is all that remains of everything that was on this map before and the fallen tree, but this bale. Now today, no, I, normally I don't cover straight up converts from FS2013 or FS2011 normally I don't cover just plain reskins and I, I don't think I've ever covered both at the same time Apart from the Abbey Manure Tanker from LS2015, which I, I'm just not going to speak of. But today, I have two mods. <laughs> two mod packs. Um, these are all old LS or FS2011 vehicles and equipment. So let's go into the mods and just show you guys what's going on. So we got the Lizard 422. 6200 to buy, 55 a day to own, 75 horsepower, and I've bought everything already. Uh, there are no log errors upon buying anything, nothing wrong in the shop either. you got the Lizard 2850C, uh, 7900 to buy, 75 a day to own, 75 horsepower. And the Lizard 422 with the roll bar, uh, 6200 to buy, 55 a day to own, 75 horsepower. So it's, just, it's the exact same as the 422, it's just got a roll bar thrown on top. In whoops. In harvesters, you have the Lizard 7210 and the Lizard 58. These are the two basic ones. The 7210 is 12,500 to buy, 95 a day to own, 78 horsepower with a capacity of 3,700 litres. The 58 is 17,400 to buy, 17,400 to buy, 75 a day to own, 112 horsepower with a capacity of 4,200 litres. And, oh, the 7210 can't harvest corn. And the 7210 here has been reskinned. And I'm going to go back and forth into the Fend 5800, which is 15,500 to buy, 95 a day to own, 88 horsepower with 3,900 litre capacity, as well as, whoops, I've bought a second Volvo, the Volvo BMS 900. 17,500 to buy, 85 a day to own, 90 horsepower, and 3,800 litre capacity. So the Lizard 58 here has been reskinned orange. Uh, 19,700 7, 19, to buy, 85 a day to own, 125 horsepower. So, yeah, th th these increments seem to be just ease up the, the horsepower and the capacity, and 4,500 litre capacity. And finally, the Volvo BM A1450, which I believe is at the harvester was originally based on I think well no it's a, it's quite clearly a class dominator isn't it um, the BM A1450 23,500 to buy 95 a day to own 130 horsepower and 4,500 litre capacity into headers and oh dear lord there's a lot of them and again three basic headers you've got the lizard 7210 cutter 1100 to buy 25 day to own and 4.8 meters of working width the lizard 58 cutter 1300 to buy 25 day to own 5.3 meters working width and the lizard maze cutter which is the only maze header in the pack both packs because there are technically two packs um, the reskins are a separate pack the harvesters are not the, well, the, let me go back. I believe this came out of the main pack. These two definitely did. And the Harvester reskins are from a separate mod. Alt, uh, a separate mod. The, uh, where was I? The Lizard 58 cutter. 300 to buy. 5.3 meters and 25 day to own. The Maze cutter, the only one in the pack, uh, will only fill in the Sovereign 58 and the 58 reskins as well. Uh, 1200 to buy, 25 day to own, and 6 rows, which is in German, but you can... Ryan rows makes sense. Uh, the... yeah. Huh. Oh yeah, because the, the maze cutter really be fits best on the orange reskin. And conveniently, 6 harvesters, 6 headers, it actually worked really well. Uh, I hope. <laughs> yes. You got the Fent 5800 <coughs> cutter. Or header. Uh, 1100 to buy, 25 day to own, 4.8 meters working width. The Volvo BMS 900 cutter. These are both. Are these all the same? 
all three of these are apparently reskins of the lizard, uh, the the seventy two ten cutter, the New Holland Clayson, because that's what the seventy two ten is based on. Defend fifty eight hundred cutter, eleven hundred by twenty five data owned, four point eight meters. The S BMS nine hundred cutter, twenty five data owned, four point eight meters, seventeen hundred to buy. I'm doing it in different order just because. And the BM A fourteen fifty cutter. 1800 to buy, 25 a day to own, and 4.8 meters working with. In tippers, because it doesn't end there. <laughs> you have the small tipper FS11, 5700 to buy, 25 a day to own, and a capacity of 7900 liters. In plows, you've got the Lizard 039-D, 3500 to buy, 45 a day to own, requires 55 horsepower with a 2.8 meter working width, so you can get your old tractors working on a, a plow if you really want to. In cultivators, you got the Lizard 121ZX. This is back in the days when the giants didn't have the rights to pretty much everything. <laughs> uh, 3500 to buy, 25 a day to own, requires 55 horsepower with a 2.5 meter working width. In sewing machines, you got the Lizard SWG, SWG 216A. 2600 to buy, 25 a day to own, 450 liter capacity, and a 2.7 meter working width. And this can yeah, this can put down corn and sugar beets if you so wish, as well as the normal stuff you'd see in a cedar like that. Oh, I skipped something. No. In sprayers, you have the Lizard Monsoon Triton 200, which, again, Liz um, Giants had very few rights back in uh, uh, FS2011, especially for smaller equipment, so they just kind of took existing stuff and re relabeled it. 3200 to buy, 25 data owned, 1400 litre capacity and a 7 metre working width. And I believe, yes, finally, in slurry tanks you've got the Lizard Small Manure Barrel. 12,700 to buy, 45 data owned, 12,500 litre capacity and a working width, width of 12 metres. So yeah, that's everything. And there's the extra BMS 900. So as you can see, they're all actually quite nice, and I'm not entirely surprised by that. Now I will take um, the two basic lizards here, I'm going to teleport them up to the farm right now. Uh, if I can, ah, lovely. You, and not you, not you, you. And then I want my tra uh, tools, yes you. Uh, not you, not you, you, and you. Okay, they've gone up to the farm, I'm going to get back to them in a minute. All of these run, they all run. Uh, they have reasonably nice sounds, I must admit. I don't like the engine noise, uh, the kind of engine turning on note of this, <coughs> of this harvester, but it's something you can deal with. Mirrors don't work, none of the dials work, this is just a straight up convert from 2011. Um, I haven't actually checked this. The beacons, one of them is super funky because this isn't, isn't supposed to have two beacons. So the one on the right is working <laughs> what I call normally if a bit fast. The one on the left is just kind of like, I'm a beacon, I'm very drunk, whatever. Um, Yeah, I mean, they're quite clearly reskins of each other, are the two basic ones, but they do work in the different skins. And the skin, the reskinning is actually done well, because even with this Volvo here, you can see there's rust, and it looks worn worn in, the Sovereign Orange looks worn in, the Coronetter definitely looks worn in. This vent looks a bit too new, but there is a bit of rust and degradation showing. Again, the Volvo, really nice skin, uh, a lot of rust and degradation showing. Let's move over over here to the tractors. So you got the Red Lizard 422, which I believe is uh, supposed to be an IH, a case IH. The Lizard 2850C, which I believe is supposed to be a vent. And again, the red lizard over here, 422. So I'm going to get this guy on. Going to put him on 
the cedar here. And coincidentally, they all showed up with stuff in them, so it's pretty perfect for the mod spotlight kind of situation I've got going on. Um, I don't need to run them up to the farm or anything, and these things aren't fast. They top out before they even hit 30 kilometers an hour. Uh, where's... I have a field down here somewhere. Oh, it's over here. It's over here. I'm just going to buy field 20 to demonstrate these vehicles. Um, now, as you probably guessed, these things won't have dirt skins. Or at least I don't expect them to, because... Well, let's face it, they've already got dirt all over them. And there is a bit of Z-fighting on this red lizard for some reason. As you can see there by it flashing like mad. Um, I can deal with it. I can deal with some weird, funky, small issues. I do like the fact that they have... You know, everything that should be 2015 spec is, like... Yeah, you know, the blinkers all work, which was not an original function. I mean, 2011 was very basic. They do have the 2015 spec particle systems. I'm just going to leave that run for a little while. I'm going to pick up this guy. And I'm going to show you the slurry tanker, which I haven't looked at these, by the way. I've just moved them about a bit uh, from where they spawn. So they do have high hitches. This thing won't fit on the uh, Massey 698 that I love so much, but I can deal with that. It does look a bit silly on the back of this thing. That's kind of a separate issue. So this is the manure spreader that comes with the pack. And again, 2015 spec slurry spreading animation. Uh, the mod author did actually quite well, and I know it's quote-unquote just a convert, but sometimes conversions, especially from... especially going up two games, because of the complete difference in games. I mean, 2011 to 2013 was... I'm going to say relatively basic. It wasn't simple, but it was reasonably simple. Uh, going up from 2011 to 2015, that's a big step. So that slurry tanker just pretty much works as you would expect. Here's the Triton 200, which again... I believe that in 2011 they did actually start off with stuff in these, so I'm not going to complain too much. Uh, this is... If this is 7 meters, it's a very small 7 meters, I'm going to be honest. But it does work, it does have 2015 animations, it does have all of that good stuff. Uh, and the other thing is I like this stuff, despite the fact that it's missing a lot of what I've described as basic um, functionality, like mirrors. Well, this shouldn't have mirrors. If this thing had mirrors, I'd be very surprised. But you know, dirt skins and, and and stuff like that. Doesn't have any of that, but it is very competent in what it does have. <coughs> and it does add stuff to the game. I mean, there is no plow in the game that you can use a small tractor on. There's just none, because giants decide in all their infinite wisdom but hey big maps that's where it's at and I know that in gold edition um, or at least I believe they're in gold edition they are planning on bringing out a smaller uh, tractor into the game and hopefully some smaller equipment to fit Eastern Europe so the plow again works just like any of the in-game plows I think it's actually you no it is using the plowing animation it's just the um, particle system actually slightly too low but that's something you can overlook. It is a nice plow. It, the models are really nice. I mean, they're Giants models. They should be. I'm not going to say brilliant, because Giants have... Giants have made some really, really good models. I don't think, in my opinion, Giants have ever made a brilliant model. Something that I would class as, oh my god, this is so wonderfully brilliant in every single way. Um, they are... Well, they are quite obviously improving, because this was their cultivator in 2011. Um, and it's actually got stuck under it's got stuck under the trailer so I have to try and free free the cultivator now so I can test it come on, get off get, get. maybe if I raise and lower a bit I get stuck on a tree or something there we go this was Giant's idea of a cultivator back in 2011. Um, 
And I'm gonna get the lampkin in a second just to kind of put the two of them up against each other. But again, this actually this actually has the animations from the uh, small lampkin cultivator because I think it is supposed to be the same cultivator. Um, it works. It works fine. The animations are all in the right place. They actually are. Ooh. Oh, I was just kind of. Well, uh, they're slightly far back, but they do kind of work. So I'm actually gonna very quickly buy the oh, the cockerling. I apologize. Um, it looks almost identical to the lemkin they had in 2011 or 2013. So these are very similar style C, um cultivators. As you can see, they're quite similar in design, but. Yeah, you know, 2011 Giants skills and, and model. 2015 Giants skills and model. There's an absolute world of difference between these two. And that just comes from Giants. As much as I rag on Giants, and I do rag on them a lot, and it's kind of a hobby of mine. Um, because, let, let's face it, you're not going to get better if you don't get criticism. As much as I rag on Giants, they have got a lot better at modeling and, and, and making things for the game. And they seem to understand the basics of what people want. I mean, in 2015, 20, or 2013 to 2015, we wanted better graphics, better bail physics. They gave us those. They gave us better graphics, they gave us better bail physics. They're still not perfect, they could do with a lot of improvement still, but... Giants are slowly but surely getting there, and... Doing it in an iterative fashion that is far better than anything Agrisim ever came out with, or UIG, to uh, drop the name of the... Disaster... <laughs> the disaster mongers. So the reason I brought the two harvesters up here is because there is a field over there that has crop in. And instead of waiting half an hour for the crops to grow because I don't have time fast forward on this mod folder, I decided I just I'm gonna have to get time fast forward into this mod folder at some point. Uh, but I want to check the fill planes on this trailer. I want to see how the harvesters work and what the animations are like on the harvesters. Because again, it's probably gonna be 2011 animations, which means it could be hilarious. Um, and that's not me ragging on the mod author, that's me saying Giants used to be a l yeah. Giants have come a long way in four years. Let's put, it, let's put it that way, they've come a long way. And... Those lights do appear to be on. It... I think how far they've come is quite evident in the harvester and header designs. Um... I believe NI modding actually, well somebody definitely released a convert of this and a reskin of this in 2013 uh, under the New Holland Clayson that it actually was. And it was actually a really good mod. So I'm hoping that this thing lives up to my expectations because I'm hoping to find a really good old style harvester that isn't... Ooh, ooh 2015 um, crop animations. That was unexpected. So. Hang on, has he taken... As this mod author, I just said he, but it could be a, a female. Just as easily. Um, I'm going by odds, most modders are men. Um, we need more female modders. Stop doing gender studies. Seriously, the people who complain about men being in science are always people who have done gender studies. Which, I... Not to belittle gender studies, but, if you're gonna complain about something that you haven't done? Because your main complaint is, oh, women don't want to do science. You did gender studies! Shut up! You have absolutely no right to complain if you want more women in science. Go into science yourself. That uh, irritates me so much because, as some of you might know, I did science in college, in uni, whatever you want to call it, and the majority of my um, course was female. 
and I worked in a lab for a few months in 2014. And I was one of, I would say, five men working there. At most five. And most of the men working there were actually related to the owner. Or actually the owner's sons. So, you know, these gender studies people, I'm not saying they're wrong, I'm just saying they need to get their act together. Ooh! 2015 Phil Plane. That was unexpected. Um... Yeah, mad props to this mod author. Seriously, mad props. What? <laughs> Is that a thing? Um... I hope you guys just saw that, because I don't think I can ever replicate that. I emptied the big harvester into the little harvester which emptied into the trailer. I actually... Oh my god, that was brilliant. That is a thing that is done in reality, I know that. That, you know, you can empty bigger harvesters into smaller harvesters, harvesters into harvesters into harvesters. I didn't think somebody would actually design that into the game. But actually put that... Oh, this is... Huh. I am... Genuinely very impressed by this. Um... I'm going to take all the fill levels as being, or the capacities as being given as, as correct. Just because it saves time and I don't want to be lugging everything up here and around the map. Uh, let's have a look at the unload and yeah, oh that's very nice. So, I was hoping, I was really hoping that this would be good. Um, I actually want a load of all timer stuff, as, you, as some of you probably know, I do like older style equipment, and I, I'm a bit insane, um, especially if you watch the Rustin series. I will use little, just stupidly undersized equipment, just to prove a point that you can. Just, just because I can, I will use ridiculously undersized equipment. And I was hoping that this stuff would be good. Now I know it's all lizard branded, but that's something that, you know, that's not really a big issue. I was hoping this would all be good, high quality stuff, and it uses the original Giants assets. You can quite clearly see it's all original Giants stuff from 2011. I like it. I like it a lot. Normally, if it's not you know up to the caliber 2015 stuff, I say, oh well, it could do a lot of work. But this guy, um, he took 2011 assets and he moved them into 2015, and they kind of fit, which is impressive. I mean, he put all the new fill planes and animations and, and stuff like that on. So it did take time to think, okay, well, I don't want to change this because this is the way it was originally intended to be. However, let's just update this stuff. Let's just update it so that... Uh, I can hear my... Oh, it's part of my beard. Wonderful. Um, let's just update it so that it fits in. I don't want to make it ridiculously new looking. You know, doesn't, they don't need a sheen. These things would all be rusty anyway. The, all the animations work perfectly. I, they're all 100% functional and they fill niches that the game has. I mean, the slurry tank actually, oops, the slurry tank actually fits in nicely between the uh, Marshall and the Zunhammer. The plow fits in below the very master although it's apparently slightly wider than the very master the cedar fits in below the vitasem everything fits in in its own little slot the sprayer the um, monsoon that slots in below all of the other I mean just look at the tractors they all fit in below what's already in the game the harvesters fit in below yeah below what's already in the game the headers fit with the harvesters and they're below what is already in the game. This would match, I think, roughly the Brantner. 8500 for 7200. And this is 7900. Yeah, this fits slightly below the Brantner. Uh, the plow fits below the Varium Master. The cultivator is a bit of an odd one because just because it requires less horsepower, it fits below the Cockerling. 
Sewing machine, as I've already said, fits below what's already in the game. The sprayer fits below what's already in the game. This slurry tank actually fits in the middle of what's already in the game. This wheel loader! <laughs> no. Um, they fill niches that the game has. And the game has a lot of niches for lower powered stuff. So... I'm probably gonna use this stuff. I'm probably gonna keep it in my... In a... a Probably a fifth mod folder of stuff what I can use. And, um... Yeah, I like it. I would recommend these two mods. Um, well, two mod packs. They're actually by the same author, so they fit in together. That's why I decided to do them in one... One video, and... It's... A strange situation where, instead of having a load of links in the description, I'll just have two. And instead of me going through a load of mods at once, yes, I have gone through a lot of mods at once, which is just my thing. But really, I've gone through two. I've gone through the Old Timer pack from LS11, and the Old Timer Harvester pack, which is all the reskins that I've left down at the shop. There's only two mods that are there. I would say get them, because they're worth getting. They're mods that add to the game. And... They fit in with each other and they fit in with what's in the game, especially if you want to use old time equipment. Like, if you're like me and insane and want to use old time equipment on Nuston Farm or on Westbridge Hills or on Bjorn, well, Bjornholm is actually better for old time equipment because the fields are slightly smaller, but Westbridge Hills, Bjor um, Nuston, Coldborough Park Farm, I have done that. <laughs> I am that insane. Um, stuff like that, really, really good. Um, they fit in. So, I think I'm going to leave it here, and I'm going to look for a, ma a map for tomorrow, because I haven't actually looked at one yet. I haven't looked for one yet. Uh, whoops. Uh, luckily, it's only Wednesday for me, so I've got time. So, thank you very, very much for watching. Until next time, stay safe, and goodbye.